So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video I am going to show you a trick that I used for my Google Analytics template app. Link down below. This is a Google Analytics report that you can get completely free. But what I did on this report is I created a self-generating tips. Uh, and you can see it here. So this is, um, again, a Google Analytics report that measures the performance of your website. In this case, is this page, for example, is measuring site speed. And I have in here tips for the users. So this tip will change every time a user refresh. Now it says mobile searches are increasing worldwide. Is your site mobile friendly? So hopefully that leads the user to say, ha, huh, how is my mobile... Uh, my website performing on mobile. You click on mobile and then you can see if it is loading correctly, if there's any country where it's loading uh, poorly and you can start try to understand why. And then if you click refresh, it will generate a new tip for the person to discover and to, you know, try to answer or, or just a hint or uh, benchmarking from the industry. So it depends on what it is. I put different tips in different places. Make sure you download it and just check it out. Here it says, if you the new, you see the download a new tip. It says, if your page takes longer than three seconds to load, the risk of users leaving your site increases by 90%. 90%. So I have here this line that it says three you know, the max speak three, and you can see that this website is loading poorly, very, very, very poorly. So this is something that should be taken care right away. But this tip will actually help the users to understand what they need to do, what they should look for, and it self generate. So how did I do that? Okay, let's do it in a new one. It's actually very, very, very easy. So first of all, enter data. We're going to, obviously we need a list with tips. And uh, I hard coded them because it is a template app, but in your organization, you can actually create a power app that will allow your users to give, to, to submit tips, and then you can have an approval flow to actually secure that the tips that come in are relevant, okay? So you don't just open the gate, <laughs> just, you never know. So these will basically, you know, you have a power app, they create a tips, and then the tips will generate on the Power BI report. How cool is that? Okay, so for this case, it is um, just hard coded. Let me know if you want to have that power app video. I'll do it without uh, any problem. So let's load it. That's all you need. Oh, there were two columns I'm, show you. I'm going to show you. There is one with the tip and the other one with the name of the uh, tab. So let's say that this is site speed tab that we're trying to create. Let, let's look at the table again very quickly. So you have here the tip and here you have the tab. So which tab should that tip show? Now, how do we regenerate this? This is very, very, very easy. You go here to modeling, new column. Here we write random number, rand, and this will create a random number. And every time the report is refreshed, either manually or scheduled refreshed, a new number will be generated, which means that a new team will be displayed. So cool. So cool. Okay. So let's put this together, you know, visually. First thing, tip. So we want the list of the, um, all the tips. I'm going to show you in detail so you don't get lost. So here you have the tabs. This is the site speed, the tab. So here we want to show the tips for the site speed tab only. So we're going to put tab in there and say site speed. So show only those tips, nothing else. Now we don't need that anymore. And now let me show you how it works with the number, the random number. It's actually very, very easy too. So we put the random number in there. And again, it will regenerate every time it's refreshed. And what we want to do here is, uh, is, 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 go here to tip. Let's close that one. And we're going to have a top N. So we say show the highest number, top one of a random number. 
Okay, so the highest number, whatever that is, show it. If the re the random generated number happens to be the highest, it won't change. But what are the odds of that? <laughs> okay, so apply filter, and you see it's displaying just one tip, which is exactly what we want. So we now remove the random number. We don't want it. I just wanted to show you, and then you put this as a card, and voila. You have a self-generated or a random generated tip, which I thought it was super cool. Is it generating? See? Site speed is one of the most important factors to run well on Google. Uh, the benchmark for page speed load and time is three seconds. You know, you're giving tips. It's like, did you know that? And can you do something with that information based on what you see on your report? Can you improve something? So I hope you enjoyed this trick. I hope you are enjoying the Google Analytics app. Let's make sure that you give me feedback either if it works or if it doesn't. There is a um, an email that you can use to contact me in case something is not working. And I will see you again on the next video. So. Super cool. Make sure to implement this and you let me know that you did. Okay. Take care and bye bye.